Hello, my name is Hyun Jung Shin, and I'm a master's student at KAIST in the Republic of Korea. I'm here to present the paper, Finding a Concise, Precise, and Exhaustive Set of Nearby Clicks in Dynamic Graphs. A variety of tasks on GRAB, including community detection, anomaly detection, compression, and graph understanding, are about finding nearby click problems. The number of nearby clicks is exponential in the number of nodes, so it is practically impossible to find all of them. Also, some of nearby clicks are too small or highly overlapped. Then, what is a good set of nearby clicks in the graph? First, I'll define some terminologies. Large B is the set of exact by clicks. Large M is the set of missing edges, where its edge is not in the given graph, but in the exact by click. Large R is the set of remaining edges, where its edge is in the given graph, but not in any of the exact by clicks. A graph can be described by removing missing edges from exact by clicks and adding remaining edges into exact by clicks. So what is a good set of nearby clicks in a graph? Let's consider some ways to describe the below graph. Here are two options to describe the previous graph, and the left one has less missing edges. From here, we define the first rule, preciseness, which means nearby clicks should be close to exact by clicks while minimizing the number of missing edges. However, from the same options, the right one has less remaining edges. We define the second rule, exhaustiveness, which means nearby clicks should cover a large portion of the given graph. In this case, the right option has neither missing edges nor remaining edges. Thus, we define the third rule, conciseness, which means a larger nearby click is better than the smaller one. Putting three rules together, a good set of nearby clicks covers a large portion of the given graph while consisting of many nodes with less error. Each sub goal minimizes the encoding cost of missing edges, remaining edges, and exact by clicks. Since the input graph can be described using M, R, and B, Minimizing the sum of three encoding codes aligns with the minimum description length principle to describe the input graph. Here, B hat is defined as a nearby click obtained from B, R, and M. Then, how can we find them? In a nutshell, we cut the given graph into partitions and peel good nearby clicks from each partition. Thus, in this work, we formalize our problem as given a graph G, we find a set of nearby clicks to minimize the total cost. To solve the problem, our goal is to design an approximation algorithm that detects high quality nearby clicks quickly, runs in the near linear time, and can be applied to some applications such as the compression and pattern discovery. Cut and peel our proposed algorithm satisfies all the requirements. First, let's define saving cost. Cut and peel finds a single nearby click with maximum saving cost. It approximates the amount of saving in the total cost due to the nearby click. It is computed in O1 time with the guarantee in preciseness. Codenpill is a top down search algorithm. It removes a node with the sparsest connectivity in the graph. From the below graph, Codenpill repeatedly 
removes a node with the sparsest connectivity until all nodes are removed. As an output, CodMP returns the snapshot that maximizes the saving cost. CodMP removes each detected nearby click from the input draft before finding others. To reduce the search space, CodMP uses partitioning method. CodMP divides nodes into groups of nodes with similar connectivity. In each iteration, the leftover draft is adaptively repartitioned. In case iteration, to guarantee the quality of detected nearby clicks, CodMP finds nearby clicks to have the saving cost larger than the threshold SEVA key from each partition. In the next iteration, it decreases threshold adaptively based on the detected nearby clicks. So far, we assumed static graphs for the ease of explanation. In the paper, we considered dynamic graphs and near temporal by clicks, so please refer to the paper for details. Now, this is our experiment. We designed experiments to demonstrate that CodMP achieves high quality and speed, scalability, and applicability. First, we evaluated the speed and the quality of detected nearby clicks on six real-world datasets. The evaluation matrix is defined as the ratio between the code for describing the given graph with and without B, R, and M. We compared sets of nearby clicks detected using five different methods. As a result, CodMP achieved the best relative cost and speed in all data sets. It had up to 51.2 better quality and up to 68.8 faster compared to their competitors. Also, we analyzed the size and the preciseness of nearby clicks. In this analysis, the nearby clicks detected by CodMP tend to be more precise with less error than other methods. In the next experiment, we measured the scalability of CodMP with the respect to the size of given synthetic graph. As seen in the below graph, CodMP scales almost linearly to the number of edges. Next, we evaluated the compression ability of CodMP. In the table, the bold letter is the best method and the underlined letter is the second best method. As a result, CodMP achieved the best compression in all considered data. Finally, we plot some interesting nearby clicks detected in DBLP and DDoS data sets. In the example figure, CodMP detected a nearby click that includes seven researchers who presented at the four same venues during 10 years. To sum up, considering the problem of finding concise, precise, and exhaustive set of nearby clicks in a dynamic graph, we formulated the problem as an optimization problem based on the MDA principle. We also designed CodMP to solve the problem with some strengths that are high quality and speed, scalability, and applicability. This is the end of my presentation. Thank you for listening.